Hello everybody, this is Aya Zakhtar with CNET.com and we are entering the Google demo space. They just showed off the Pixel 3, the XL, and all kinds of things. You can see they set up little rooms. So I believe there's a 3 XL right on the counter. And it's, it's got a case on it already. Now it looks a lot like the leaks, guys, so deal with that. It feels pretty light. I will say I'm pretty surprised by that. You can see that they've come with a black wallpaper, so you don't really notice that. It's got the one camera on the back like we expected. And then there's the Pixel 3, which also feels surprisingly light. This does not feel hefty at all. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the original Pixel in design, and you can see that the corners are squared off. This is the Pixel... This is an older Pixel, isn't it? But this is not... This is definitely the XL, so they fooled me because this is an older Pixel here. You know what? Correct? I think somebody might have, might have turned, them, turned them on. And here we can see the Google so can, Home can, Hub, can we use these? which Google can just showed off today. This gives you a nice visual yeah. interface. It's very yeah. similar to so Lenovo's actually, smart display, redesigned version of the Home Hub. I'm going to keep wandering around because there's many, many rooms. Oh, look, it opens up a lot. So let's wander. Let's see if we can find a proper 3, because what we saw was the 3XL, but not the 3. It appears that this is the Pixel Slate, correct? Yes. So this Pixel Slate is a 12.3 inch screen. What kind of display is this? This is the molecular display. It's going to have 293 PPI. It's a molecular display. So yes. Is that a variant of LCD or OLED? It's our, our branded terms. Our so, branded terms? Yeah. Do, you, do you tell me what the unbranded term would be? I mean, I the tech and specs, you'll want to grab one okay. of these guys for it. So I'll ask around about that yes. momentarily, but I see you can expand the desktop. Yes. You can have up to two 4K monitors for the ultimate to workstation. Two 4K uh, monitors, and can you tell me if there's just one USB port? There's two, one oh, on two. both sides. Two USB-C ports, that's and pretty the awesome. Pixel and, print. and you can the, have a fingerprint scanner up there. Yeah. So this was, I wouldn't say a surprise, because we've seen this leak before, but it looks really great. There's, compared with other keyboards, obviously it's got a stand. I'm gonna keep wandering around. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So we're still on the go, you can see the back of the Google Home device. You got four colors. It's got this fabric here. It's pretty light, seven inch display. I will say when we saw it downstairs, it looked a little bit like, uh, looked like a little washed out, but it looks pretty good in this bright room. It's deeply integrated into Nest devices as well. So if somebody rings your doorbell, you have a Nest cam, it'll show up on the Google Home Hub. Let's keep wandering to find there's so many people here, you can see. I will say the energy right now is a lot higher now than it was when we came in. I think the software features that they showed off really impressed people because while the hardware might look ho-hum, it's really the software that drives your experience. So let's see if we can go find a pixel somewhere. I keep finding, there's a pen, there's a DJ booth for some reason. All right, let's keep wandering around. There's so much to see in this demo area. I see a lot of people clustered around there. That's probably where we'll find the XL and the 3, and I believe I'm correct. In this gentleman's hand right there is the Pixel 3, not the XL model, and you can see it borrows its styling a lot from the Pixel 2 XL. No notch on this. Uh, I don't know what kind of screen technology it is, but it does cost $7.99. I wonder if I can find somebody to tell me Hi there. Would you be able to tell me what kind of screen technology is in the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 itself? Brand ambassadors. Brand ambassadors. Brand ambassadors in this area. See this okay. gentleman in the shirt with the, with the Google team. Okay, I'm going to go find him. Thank you. As I bump into people, everybody, it's kind of chaotic here. Let's see if we can borrow this gentleman. Hi there. Hey. Would you be able to tell me what kind of screen technologies are in the Pixel 3 and 3 XL? Yeah, sure. So both Pixel 3 on my left here and Pixel 3 XL have flexible OLEDs. They're both OLEDs. They're both flexible OLED displays. They're our best Pixel displays can you ever. Can you tell me if they came from LG or a different vendor? Because last year's OLED screen for the Pixel 2 XL had some issues in, in the press. Can you tell me about that? Uh, what's great about both Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL is mm -hmm. we've designed and developed it from the inside out at Google. Okay. We're not disclosing our specific uh, vendors, uh, but we've made several improvements to the quality. We have a new adaptive color mode, which allows you to have a bright, vibrant rendition of the colors, 
Also, both displays are certified by the UHD Alliance, which allows you to have awesome HDR plus playback. So, in case you couldn't hear him, they this gentleman told me, Peter told us that these were designed in-house. They're not telling us about the vendors who provided them, but they've passed a certification as well. UHD Alliance, UHD which Alliance. certifies for HDR playback. I can show a quick demo here if you'd like to yeah, see. Yeah, why not? We could get that Let's real pull quick. Up, uh, just pull up an HDR video on YouTube here. I mean, this is going to be strange. We're getting it through a filter of my camera, so I can tell you from how it looks and by my eyes, it looks great. Could you tilt the display to see if the colors shift at all? It does not appear to shift colors. I'm really interested in checking this out later at home. Uh, let's see, we've got the... the little guy here as well, sure. Let's see, the, the regular three. Now the three starts at $7.99 and the XL starts at $8.99? That's correct. What do they top out at? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head what the okay. incremental memory price is at. Okay. All right, I can hear the speakers from here. So that is just, just a sample of what we saw. Oh my gosh, they actually have something called Pixel Park. Guys, if you watch Alphabet City, that's what we call our segment. So that's even weirder. There goes Scott Stein. I'm Ayaz Action for CNET.com. And this has been your look at the Google Demo Room. Thank you guys.